Hello everyone. In this video, we will understand what is Apache Tomcat and how to use Apache Tomcat to run our Java web applications. All right. Without wasting our time, let's get started. My name is Ashok. In this video, we are going to discuss what is Tomcat server and how to install Tomcat in our machine and how to access Tomcat admin dashboard, how to deploy war file in Tomcat server, how to make the changes to the port number in the Tomcat and how to add the Tomcat users to access admin dashboard and how to add the server in the Eclipse IDE for quick deployments. What is Tomcat? Tomcat is a free and open source web server. It is used to run our Java web applications. Every web application should deploy inside a server for execution. So Apache Tomcat is one of the most famous web server to run our Java web applications. Apache Tomcat server developed by Apache organization and they used Java language to develop this Tomcat server. So remember to run this Tomcat server in our machine, Java software should be installed. This Apache Tomcat server will use 8080 as the default port number. So you can run that Tomcat server with the default port. If you don't want to use 8080, we can make the changes to that port number also. I will show you in this video how to change the port number of the Tomcat. Right. How to set up this Tomcat server? We can set up Tomcat server in two ways. First one, we can download Tomcat installer software and we can install in our machine and we can use it. If you don't want to install, directly you can download Tomcat server as a zip file. We can extract that zip and you can use that software. Alright, let us see how to download and install the Tomcat server. So here, if you go to official website of the Tomcat, tomcat.apache.org, there we have download which version of the Tomcat is compatible with which version of the Java. They have given the table here. I'm going to use Tomcat 9.0. 9.0 Tomcat is compatible with Java 8 and later versions. So Java 8 is the minimum requirement to use this Tomcat 9. If you want to go for Tomcat 10, then Java 11 is mandatory. If you want to go for Tomcat 11, then Java 17 is mandatory. Right. So here, let me go to Tomcat 9. And here you can see the option for download. You can directly download the zip file or you can download this installer. So first I'm going to download this installer. So click on this installer. Then you can see here one .exe file is downloaded. So let's go to our downloads folder. We can see that the Tomcat server .exe file is downloaded. Simply install this. So double click. Select S. Yes. Now choose the options here correctly. Click on next. Now agree. Click on next. Here it is asking the port numbers. So the default port number of the Tomcat is 8080. If you already installed Oracle database in your system, then you need to change the Tomcat port because Oracle also will use 8080. We can't use two port, we can't use same port number for two processes in the same machine. If you want to use a different port number, then you can simply give as 8081. If you want to go with 8080, you can use it like this. Windows service name, you can keep any name for that. I'm keeping it as Tomcat. Username. So to access admin dashboard, you can create one user in the Tomcat. I'm giving the username as admin and password also as a admin. The role by default it is manager GUI. Click on next. So it is taking our JRE from the system. So as I told you, Tomcat is developed by using Java. So Java is mandatory to run the Tomcat server. So in my system, Java is already installed. It is picking up the JRE location. Click on next. So this Tomcat server is getting installed in the C program files, software foundation, Tomcat 9.0. You can give any name for that. So it is going to take just 14 MB of space in our system. It is very lightweight software. Click on install. Tomcat server is getting installed. Once installation is completed, it will show you option to run the Tomcat directly or you can disable this checkbox. And if you can run manually, if you select this checkbox, when you click on finish, directly it will start the Tomcat server. I will run that manually. Click on finish. So with this, my Tomcat server installation got completed. Go to C directory, then program files, Apache software foundation folder got created. In this folder, you can see Tomcat 9.0 folder is available. So there it is asking 
administrator permission so click on continue so that folder is open so here we can see the directory structure of the tomcat bin folder conf folder lib logs temp web apps work like that several folders are available so what is the purpose of those folders in the tomcat server bin bin directory contains binary files to start and stop the server similarly conf it contains the configuration files as i told you we can change the tomcat server port number we can add the users in the tomcat for that configuration files will be available in conf directory libs it contains the libraries like jar files will be available in the lib directory web apps this is the most important for us this web apps folder is called as deployment folder it is used to deploy our web applications so we have the war file that war file if you want to deploy we need to keep that war file in the web apps folder the process of keeping our project war file in the web apps is called as deployment then logs so when we start the server when we stop the server how the server is getting executed what are the events that happened in the server those logs will be created the log files will be stored into logs directory similarly temp folder it contains the temporary files we can delete the temp files also so this is the directory structure of our tomcat server see here in the bin you can see tomcat.exe file is available startup.bat shutdown.bat files are available now if you want to run the tomcat server you can use this tomcat.exe or you can use this startup.bat also i'm using tomcat.exe file so when i click on this it is asking for confirmation yes it is running the tomcat server in my system you can observe what is the port number of the tomcat server it is using so the, in my system i have given the port number as 8080 so this tomcat server running on the port number 8080 once the tomcat server is running in our machine we can access admin dashboard okay so go to here localhost colon 8080 the port number is 8080 if you give 8081 you can give that port number when i access localhost colon 8080 it is going to open admin dashboard of the tomcat here you can click on manager app so it will ask for the credentials we have added admin admin username and password if it is asking credentials you can give that now here i am able to access the tomcat admin dashboard list applications what applications are running in the tomcat server we are able to see those applications here and from this admin dashboard we can directly deploy our war files also war file to deploy choose the war file i have one web application which is developed by using servlet i am selecting this war file and click on deploy the moment when i click on the deploy it will deploy our war file into tomcat server all right here you can see that war file in the application if you see here it is giving the message also deploying the web application whatever the war file i have uploaded app.war now you can see in the applications our application deployment it is showing here you can stop your application you can reload that you can undeploy that let me access this application now so click on this application so by default it is giving 404 because welcome file is not configured so i have the servlet with url slash welcome so when i send a request with a slash welcome my servlet is getting executed in the tomcat server my servlet providing response for me so i am able to access my web application which is running in the tomcat server right this is one way to deploy suppose now i want to undeploy this application so this is my app just me let me click on undeploy so when i click on undeploy that war file will be removed from the server so this is undeploying my application here you can see my application got undeployed now here you can take that war file and you can directly deploy that war file in the web apps directory okay so let me take that war file copy that war file go to tomcat server program files tomcat 9.0 web apps as we discussed web apps is called as our deployment directory we can keep our war file in the web apps directory also so when i keep that war file in the web apps directory again it is saying that deploying the web application now go to the dashboard and you can click on list applications it is deployed that means you can deploy your war file from admin dashboard as well as you can deploy directly in the web apps folder also now let me access this application once again refresh yes i am able to 
access this URL. That means my application deployment completed successfully. So here we can do undeploy. That application will be removed from the Tomcat server. Undeploying is in progress. Yes, undeploy completed. Fine. Now, how to change this Tomcat server port number? So the default port number it is using 8080. Now let me stop my Tomcat server. Just I am pressing Ctrl C. So with the Ctrl C, our server will be stopped. My server is stopped. Go to conf directory. In the conf directory, we have server.xml. So let's open server.xml. Here you can see HTTP port. You can see HTTP port here. The default port number it is using 8080. Now let me give the port number as 9090. Save it. I have changed that port number. After changing the port number, let me start my Tomcat server. Tomcat 9.x. Yes. It is starting my Tomcat server. Now can you see? Tomcat server is running on the port number 9090. Let me access admin dashboard with 9090 port now. Localhost colon 9090. Yes. Now Tomcat server running on the port number 9090. I am able to access admin dashboard. Click on manager app. Now it is asking for the credentials. At the time of installation, we have given the username and password. We need to give those credentials. Username is admin and password also I have given as admin. Click on sign in. Yes. I am able to access the dashboard. Now I can deploy my war file again. Choose the war file. Select app.war. Click on deploy. Yes. The application is getting deployed into Tomcat server which is running on the port number 9090. Yes. Let us see the dashboard. List applications app. It is working. Now let's access it. With 8080 it will not work now because we have changed the port number. If I give the wrong port number, this site cannot be reached. Let me give the correct port number. 9090. Enter. Yes, with 9090, I am able to access my web application. Alright. So with this, we understood how to change the Tomcat port number. Port number we can change by using server.xml. And we have another file, tomcatusers.xml. If you want to add the new users for the Tomcat server, here we have user tag, username admin, password admin, role. At the time of installation we have selected this. So similar to this we can add one more user also in the Tomcat. I will give this Ashok and password as Ashokai. Like this we can add multiple users also in the Tomcat by using Tomcat iPhone users.xml. Alright. So as a developer we will develop our applications by using IDE. So creating the war file, taking the war file, going to this dashboard and deploying that war file in the dashboard will take lot of time as part of our development. So how can we run the application directly in the server from IDE itself? Yes, to improve our productivity as part of our development activity, several times we will change the code and we need to test it by deploying in the server. Every time creating a war file, going to the server, deploying in the server will take some time. How to save our time? So here what we can do is in the IDE server section will be available. If it is not displaying go to window show view here you can add servers. Servers tab is displaying right click here new server. We can add the server directly here. It is giving the options to add several servers. Now I am going to use Tomcat 9.x which I have installed in my system. Select the server from here. Click on next. Now here it is going to ask you the Tomcat server which we have installed. We can give the path of the Tomcat server and click on next. Here click on finish. My Tomcat server is added. So sometimes it may ask you to choose the location. You need to choose the location of your Tomcat server up to the main folder of the Tomcat. So once we select the Tomcat server it is added to IDE. Now here my servlet web application is available. I want to run this web application in the server. Generally we will package this application as a war file and we will deploy in the server. But in the IDE we have already added the server. Directly we can run our application in the server. How to do that? I have added the server. Right click on the application. Run as run on server. So it is asking. There are two servers available. One is Pivotal. Another one is Tomcat. In which server you want to run? I want to run by using this Tomcat server. Click on next and this application is configured. Click on finish. 
Now you can see the console, the application is getting deployed on the Tomcat server. So directly from the IDE, we can run our application on the server. Now here it is saying that by default, this is accessing 01 servlet web app. So here our URL pattern is welcome. So in the IDE itself, we can open the browser. You can take this URL and access in normal browser also. Yes, I'm able to access that. Welcome to Ashoka IDE. So like this, we can add the server in the IDE. We can directly run our application from IDE itself. It will save our time. Good. Fine. If you don't want to install this Tomcat server, you can directly download the Tomcat zip file. So when you click on this zip, it will download the zip file. Once you extract that zip file, you can see a folder like this, Apache Tomcat. Here, same folder structure. So here in the C directory, I just extracted my Tomcat server directly. In this you can see bin, conf, lib, web apps directly. So here in the web apps, I can deploy my application directly. So if you don't want to install, you can go for this. And make sure in the environment variables, you have the path setup and you have Java home setup. So let me show you my environment variables. Edit the system environment variables. In order to run this Tomcat in your environment variables, Java home, so where you are, JDK is available. We need to give the path of that JDK. Remember, Java home will set up to JDK only. When it comes to the path, Java path will set up to bin directory. Java path setup and this Java home setup is required in order to run this Tomcat server. I hope you understood how to work with this Tomcat. Thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more updates. Thank you.